New this morning, a CBC News investigation that shows the use of segregation or solitary confinement is happening more often in Ontario jails, despite calls to end the practice. At the prison in Hamilton, Ontario, segregation is happening at a far greater rate than the rest of the province, even meeting the United Nations threshold for torture. It's Bobby Herstova who has the details. He's live with me from Hamilton this morning. Good to see you on this, Bobby. As you've been investigating, you gathered data from right across the province. What did you look at, and then what did you find? So we used public data that the province shares, and we got figures through freedom of information request, and we used those to create segregation rates, which essentially tells us an estimated of how many times a prisoner entered segregation in each jail, and that's between early 2019 and early 2023. And what we found was the province's segregation rate grew from about two segregations per prisoner to seven. That's almost double. In Hamilton, that had the highest rate, and what we saw there was the segregation rate grow from three to 31 segregations per prisoner, so that is four times the provincial average. We also found that the longest time someone stayed in segregation at the Hamilton jail was 21 days. The UN says anything over 15 days is considered torture. And remember, most people in provincial jails have not been convicted of the charges that landed them behind bars. What did you hear from experts, Bobby, about what this, why this might be happening? I spoke to Howard Sapers. He's the former correctional investigator of Canada, and he listed a whole host of reasons for why this could be happening. When you're using segregation that much in one site, which is what it appears to be, um, that's, that, that tells you you've got some other serious issues. You may have staffing issues. You may have um, morale issues. You, you, you may have training uh, issues. You may have even just policy awareness and compliance issues. We also heard from the Ontario Public Service Employees Union. They represent correctional workers in the facility, and they said a lack of staffing, resources, and training has put jails in crisis. And what about the province, Bobby? Did it have anything to say in response to your findings? Not very much. We did ask the Ministry of the Solicitor General for an interview. They turned us down. We sent them an email with our key findings and a list of questions. They didn't respond to those specifically, but in a statement they told us that despite our investigation, they've been making progress on keeping people out of segregation conditions and have invested $100 million each year since 2020 to improve conditions. They also said sometimes segregation is necessary and some prisoners request to be put in those conditions, Heather.